Let's go ahead and start putting things together here. First of all, let's uh, perhaps get rid of all of this. And we'll probably have to come back and open a few of them, but nevertheless, let's go back to our content main here. And we're gonna few, make a few changes here. Close that down. What we're gonna do, I wanna make sure that this floating button is actually in the middle of the screen. So inside here, I'm gonna find where our floating button is. And also I wanna change the icon instead of the email, I wanna change it to something more appropriate, which is gonna be a plus. So I'm gonna say add input like that. So the moment you do that, you can see we have that plus and there is a plus in there. So all of this is coming from our Android namespace. Very good. And also what I want to do, layout gravity, I want it to be center, has to be center vertical like that. And I want to make sure also that it is center horizontal. There we go. So now we have our button here. It's going to be in the middle of the screen. Next thing we're going to do here is I'm going to add a text below here. So now remember, I'm inside of content main XML here. So you can see we have our constraints. So I'm going to go ahead and get a text and put just below there. I'm going to add a few constraints to the, to the bottom, perhaps make this a little bit bigger. And I'm going to add another constraint that would go all the way to the top. So that way I can put that just over there in the middle and to the right, to the left and to the right as such. All right, so I'm going to just give a title text doesn't really matter because we're not going to change that. I'm going to go ahead and add a resource here that's going to say add item. The value is going to say add item like that and enter and while well, I can see add item. If we want to also we can go ahead and change a few other things too, such as the size to about 14. And I want to make it bold. There we go. Looks very good. Save this now and quick run, we should hopefully be able to see something pleasant. Very good. So there we go. Our button still works, still does that. We're going to change that. And it says add item. How about make it perhaps, let's say style. Let's go ahead and make it italic as well. Okay, looks better. Let's check it out. And there we go. It looks real cool. All right, good. Of course, we can play with this forever. But idea is, People come in and they can see that the first time they look at this application, the first time they are using this app, they will be prompt with this add item button. So when they click, we want to do something else. Instead of showing this snack bar here, we're going to show a alert dialog. So an alert dialog is going to be a window that will show in front of this main window there, main screen. Okay, so that's what we're going to be putting together right now. To put together an alert dialog, what I'm going to be doing here is we're going to create a separate XML that will be inflated in code so that then when clicked, we're going to then show it at the top there, if that makes any sense. So let's go ahead and do that. Well, let's go back to our project here. Inside of our layout, I'm going to go ahead and create a new just layout resource like this. And I'm going to call this, let's say pop up like that. Okay, say okay. And there we go, we have our pop up. So this is where we're going to actually create our pop up. Now with our pop up, what we're going to show is essentially the things that we want the users to add to our database, right? So in this case, we're going to have for instance, name, quantity, color, size, or whatever else we want. So for now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually get rid of this constraint layout. And I'm going to go ahead and code everything ourselves here. So I'm going to put all inside of a linear layout for better or easier um, way of doing things here. So first of all, I'm going to add an ID to our main. Let's put this inside there. Let's close that down. Let's close that down as well. For now. So I'm going to go ahead and give an ID here, just in case we want to use it or access it, I'm going to call this layout underscore ID. Okay, very good. So now that we have that, I'm going to make sure that this is actually vertical. So orientation, I'm going to make it vertical because it's a linear layout, it will automatically be horizontal. So we want to make sure that everything is linearly laid out vertically. All right, so inside here, what I'm going to add is um, a card view because I want everything to look nice, right? So I'm going to go ahead and say card. 
view notice that we will have to import the card view say like wrap content wrap content it looks like the card view was imported right away when we added everything let's make sure it is indeed imported let's go to our gradle there's too many things opened here let's close that <laughs> let's go to our gradle here we should hopefully see I don't quite see it, but just to make sure we don't want any issues, go to pop, let's go to design. Make sure, let's delete it just in case. I like to make sure, let's say card view. Okay, let's go ahead and add to our library like that. That's one of the things about using code, XML code, as opposed to using the design here. But in any case, let's come down here. We have our linear layout. Let's go ahead and make it like that. And now we're going to go ahead and add our card view, just like what we were trying to do. So I'm going to say card view. Now I know for sure that we have it included everywhere in our project. And in this case here, match parent, that's fine. We don't need to add an ID. But inside of our card view now, in fact, let's see our preview here. It's hard to see. It's right there. There's no dimensions or nothing. That's fine. Inside here, that's where we're going to create another relative layout. Like such. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it match parent. And for the height, it's going to be wrap content. Okay. So inside of a relative layout, this is where we're going to add all sorts of things. But I'm also going to add a padding here of about, let's say, 24 dp to give it a relaxed padding around. Very good. So inside of our relative layout now, you can see now if you come down here, we have our layout ID, which is the linear layout. And then we have a card view. And inside there, we're going to have other items. Very good. So we can see the tree there. So now I'm going to add a text view. The first text view is going to also be wrap content there. I'm going to give it, so I'm going to go ahead and give an ID. It's just going to be a simple ID. So that's where we're going to add our title. I'm going to say text. It's going to be something like that says string, but I'm going to add this one that just says enter item, which we haven't created. So we have to extract that and create that real quick. Enter item like that. Okay, very good. So at this point here, if we do quick view, you can see it says enter item right there. Very small. All right, so we're making progress here, folks. And I also want to make sure that this is italic. So uh, I'm going to say text style, this italic. So I'm going to go ahead and say italic. Right? And I want the text size to be about 18 SP, a little large. Save, you can see in preview here, should be over there now. All right, so the next thing we want to add here is an edit text, right? Because we're going to allow users to add something. So in this case here, I'm going to make this match parent and this is going to be wrap content. Let's give it an ID, of course, because we want to be able to get to it. In this case, I'm going to say baby item for ID. And I want this to be below which layout? Well, I want this to be below our title like that. So take a look and you can see now we have our, all right, let's go ahead and make our background color here a different color so we can see the difference here. Okay, so you can see there it is our relative layout. We're not going to leave it like that. But now as we do this, I think it's a good idea so we can actually see. All right, very good. So remember this, what we're doing here is going to be what we're going to be using to inflate so that we can put that in uh, our pop up alert dialog, which you're going to see soon. Okay, let's continue here with less destruction, I hope. Very good. So we have our edit text. It's there. And we have our title, wrap content. And the next thing we're going to add here is actually the hint. So I'm going to say hint. I wanted to add a hint from string, which we haven't created. It's just going to be hint underscore item. Of course, we're going to go ahead and extract that. Enter item like this. Very good. I'm going to copy this because we're going to do the same thing for a couple more. So this case is going to be ID. I'm going to add this quantity item quantity. Very good. This I'm going to say quantity. This is going to be below our baby item. There we go. Very nice. Hint. I'm going to say hint 
QTY. We haven't created that. Go ahead and do that. There we go. I'm going to do the same thing. This one is going to be item color. I want this below to be item quantity, right? And hint is going to be hint color as such. We haven't created that, of course. Very good. And let's keep going here. Maybe one more. Next, I'm going to just go ahead and say item size. And I want this below item color. And hint is going to be hint color. As you can see, a lot of repetition here. I think we already have hint color. Oh, I'm sorry. This has to be hint size. There we go. <laughs> I haven't created that. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and say size like that. Very good. If you save this and do a quick preview here, you can see now we have um, our user interface looking good. And this should be in the middle here. Why isn't it in the middle? Let's go back to our text there. We can actually say center horizontal to be true. And voila, it's going to be in the middle there. So the next thing we're going to do is to put a button at the bottom here that will say save. Okay, so I'm going to go come below our last one still inside there. So I'm going to say button and the width it's actually going to be match parent because I want it to span all across and height. I'm going to make it wrap content. Let's give an ID, of course, and this I'm going to say save button like that. And I'm going to say margin top. I'm going to give it about 5 dp from the top. Very good. And of course, I want to make sure that it's below something. I want it to be below the ID item size like this. So there we go. You can see it's looking good. And I gave that margin top. Looks like it doesn't like it. So what does it say? Consider replacing layout margin right with Android layout margin end. Okay, let's do margin end five like that. Very good. Let's say text size to about 14 DSP. I want text style to be bold. Let's put a text then so we can see what's going on. It's going to be inside of a string and I'm going to call this save button. Of course, we got to go ahead and create it like that. There we go. There. Set save and for the color, I'm going to make it color accent like that. Okay, it gives that accent here. Remember this color here. We're not going to see it. In fact, let's get rid of it so that we don't end up seeing it or forgetting. Uh, let's get rid of that. Okay, so there we go. At least we can see how things are laid out. We have the button, save button is there. And if I want to change the text color, for instance, to say white, I can actually do that in our button here. I'm going to say text color. I'm going to say at Android color. I want it to give me white. There we go. So it gives us this very nice white there. So now we have what it's going to be inside of our pop up. And we're going to do that in the next video. So what we're going to do in the next video again is we're going to be able to inflate this whole XML pop up here in our code so that when we click this button here, add is going to pop up and then we can let users add those items. All right. I'll see you next.